Hey YouTube! Okay, so the month of August is over, so I just want to come out to you with my August favorites. And I'm really excited for the fall season, even though Florida doesn't have a typical fall season. I'm excited for it to get a little chilly and I get to open my windows. And I know I'm making it seem like Florida gets so cold, but last year it was the coldest winter ever. So I'm excited for that. So here are my August favorites. I don't have too many, but I mean I have a good amount. Real quick, if you guys are wondering, I'm wearing Wet n Wild Wild card on my nails. And it's this pretty, like purple with gold in it so that's what I'm wearing it's two coats first thing I've been really liking this August is my moisturizer this is just the Target brand and it's the dual action moisturizer which is comparable to the clean and clear dual action moisturizer so it has acne medicine in it it moisturizes skin and it helps prevent pimples and it's oil free I've really been liking this it smells like a cream I like this because it doesn't break me out and I can I could wear it, you know, like when my skin's dry, I just put it on after I wash my face and that's it. And normally I'm really skeptical about putting moisturizer on before I put on my foundation, but this one I can. So I like this one a lot. Next thing is about my nails. I do my nails about every week. I change the color on them and, you know, file them, cut them and, you know, do whatever. So I've been really liking the Sally Hansen Diamond Strength Instant Nail Hardener. And I put this on before I paint my nails. So after I file them and groom them, whatever, I put this on and it makes your nails stronger. I have a problem with my nails breaking, so if I need to research on how to prevent that. But, and by breaking, I mean like splitting and peeling. It's really disgusting. So that, and then after that, I just use this Lush Salt Cleanser. If you go to Lush and ask for a sample of something when you buy something, they'll give you a sample. Or they already have pre-made samples, so they'll just give you whatever they have. Whatever they have. Yes. So this is just a salt cleanser. I've used a pretty good amount of it. And I just use this, and it's like an exfoliator. Exfoliator. It smells really disgusting, though, but it's really nice, and it makes my hands so soft afterwards. So next, I've been really loving this Matador Red. It's a matte lipstick, and it's by Yago. So pretty. I've been really liking dark lips. Right now, I have on a pink from Avon, but I mean, I love dark lips. I think it looks really pretty for the fall, and this is a matte red lipstick, which is nice because I love matte lipsticks. And another thing from them is their ink. I use it as a liner, but it's supposed to be like a paint, and it looks like a MAC um, fluid line. So I've been using this for my waterline and for my upper lash line. That's an ink. Next, I've been really, okay, I told you about this last favorite, and it's the e.l.f. $1 eye curler. Love this stuff. Um, right now I have on a waterproof mascara, but it makes my lashes look so long, and I love that, and it's only a dollar. And okay, I know when I first got this, I said I didn't like it, and it's the L'Oreal Voluminous or something. I don't even know, it's in black is black, but I've been really liking this, especially with curled lashes. And look at the size of that brush. I mean, are you guys looking at how big that is? I had nowhere else to put it, so. But I really like this, and it works pretty good, so. But I did buy a new mascara yesterday, so I'm going to switch over to that because I've had that for too long now. I really like my CPC 222 brush. It's so dirty right now. <clears throat> but it's a perfect crease brush. It gets right in there. I actually need to put more crease color on, but it goes right in there. It's a little hard, but it does the job good. That's what I really like. Not that I've been liking this, but I've been using it a lot in the month of August, and it is my e.l.f. Silver Lining Quad. I really like this white color the most out of all of them. I'll do swatches. They're really pigmented, though, so that is a good thing. Super pigmented, so that's a good quad. Next is this bare... A minerals eyeshadow and it's a loose eyeshadow and I really don't like loose eyeshadows but I like this one for some reason and this is an opal and it's a really pretty color and I use this in my inner tear duct and all over my lid next I've been burning the heck out of my Kindles by Victoria 
caramelized pralines and I had a haul from her a while ago and my boyfriend's in it. it. Smells really good. It smells like bakery scents, so if you guys like bakery scents, check this out. So I've been burning a lot of that. I have swatches on my hands still, so I'm like trying not to touch anything. Then I've been liking my Garnier for two sleek and shine. I've had this for so long, like literally I'd say about two years. And I that's how much I've done to it. And I do use it every day, but I do use like a pump, so that's it. But I mean it works pretty good and keeps my hair nice and shiny. And then last but not least is this shade stick I got from L'Oreal and I depotted it. I'm trying to use it for it's Project 10 Pan. And it's just this really pretty champagne brown taupe color and I use this on top of a base and it looks so pretty under my eyeshadow. So those are my August favorites. I hope you guys enjoy and post your August favorites down below.